let's say now I want to model an LDO. An LDO and a DAC really aren't too different. So I'm going to start with the DAC as a template. Go ahead and make a copy and then edit that. Change the name to LDO. Low drop out regulator. So for our particular LDO, let's say it doesn't have a VREF. So I'll go ahead and delete the VREF line. I will eliminate that. But we'll say that the LDO can be adjusted with LVO just like the DAC could be adjusted. And let's say it's a single ended output instead of differential. Say it's a voltage output. We'll just say that the output is just enable times level. And an LDO sources from the supply rail, so the current will be pulled from the supply rail. So we say P rail equals VDD, VDD corresponding to the supply line. And usually an LDO also has a maximum current. So let's say the max current is one amp. So we'll say I max equals one amp. That's it. We can generate and view as before the model. And here's the model of our LDO below here, and it is 278 lines of code. I'm now going to run a model versus model simulation of the LDO just to check that our model and our test bench are working as expected. In order to do so, we need to set the nominal values for the ports. For LVL, we'll set a nominal value of 0, which would be in the middle of the range for the signed input. We'll set the enable to be 1. I bias to be 1 microamp, VDD to be 2.5 volts, and ground to be 0 volts. And for the output, we'll go ahead and load it with a 100 ohm resistor. As before, to start the simulation, we go ahead and we'll generate and view the model and test bench. We copy the AVDL initiate link. We'll go ahead and make a directory for the LDO simulation. Go ahead and paste in the link. And all we need to do is run AVSIM MVM. And there are the results. You'll see that 258 tests were run. There are no failures, but we'd expect no failures. This is the model being compared against itself. We see the end of the simulation here with the LVL sequence being completed and then the enable sequence here. If I want to look at the beginning of the simulation, I can type AV sum for summary, and then I'll pipe it through more. And here, because this is an MVM or model versus model simulation where no schematics are involved, we do run our assertion tests. So here you can see that for all of the assertions, we test both when it exceeds the upper bound and when it sees the lower bounds. So we test I bias, VDD, and ground. Here we see the start of the LVL sequence, starting with minus 128 and minus 127. In this case, the expected and the measured are both the model, and we see a problem in that this is zero volts. Let's look at the waveform results. Let's go ahead and plot LVL, enable, and then the output. What you can see is the output stays at zero and then rises at about the mid range. So that corresponds to where the sequence goes from zero to one. Now, in order to see why this is the case, let's go back to the specifications. Here we see that this is not a voltage controlled voltage source. In fact, what we've done is we've tied the P rail to VDD, which means that the current will be drawn from VDD. Because we've loaded this with the resistor to ground, we can no longer drive a value onto the output that's lower than ground. So because this is a sign number, LVO is negative, and if we take a negative number and we multiply it by enable, which will be one, we'll get a negative voltage. But because the output is grounded, we end up with zero as a result. So let's say this is an incorrect spec. And what we really wanted was we wanted an unsigned number here. So let me set this to digital. And let me set the nominal value here to be mid-range. 
or 128. All I have to do is update. I now go back to my Unix window. All I have to do to get the changes in the model is to type AVDL for AV download. I can then run the simulation again with AV Sim MVM. Once again, I type AV Sum MVM for the summary. Now I can see that LVL starts at zero with the output at zero, and then as LVL increases, so does the output voltage. And LVL goes up to FF with the highest level of the LDL being produced and the enable sequences again run. And with the nominal being 128 for LVL, when enable is one, I get the expected one volt at the output, which is mid range. I can once again look at the waveform results. I plot enable, LVL, and the output. And now I can see the output is monotonically increasing from LVL0 to LVL255. With the nominal value of 128, I would expect the output of the LDL to be 1, because capital level here will be the 128 nominal value divided by 128, which will be 1. When the block is on, enable will be 1, this capital level will be 1, and so the output will be 1 volt. To see how quickly I can make a change, suppose I wanted the default value to be 64 instead of 128. I would now expect the output to be 0.5 volts at nominal. All I have to do is to hit update again. Go ahead and close my waveform window from before. And with AV, I can string together commands. I can say AVDL, SIM, MVM. With one command, I can download the new version and run the MVM simulation. In our test benches, when a particular sequence is run, everything else is set at nominal. So when the enable sequence is run, LVL will be at nominal, which is 64. So when enable equals 1, we see the expected 0.5 volts for the output of the LDO. Thank you for watching. Please click in the upper left for our next video. Please click in the lower left for the playlist of all of our videos in the series. Please click on the right to subscribe to our channel.